Hi, fourth graders. Today we're going to just um, take a moment and really study um, your work on Nuzella and help you get stronger, better, um, and help it be more powerful to your learning when you're at home away from us. Um, so we have been assigning a ton of articles on World War II. We're doing this because of the book you're reading or having read to you, Number the Stars. It's historical fiction, so the characters are fictional. However, the time in history is true. The setting of historical fiction is truth. Um, and in order to better understand Number the Stars, you need to really understand this time in history. Um, so I'm looking at the, on your screen here, I, we're looking at the Nuzella article we assigned on Monday. I have Kylie's up. I have her permission to use um, what she's done here. It isn't perfect. You can see her quiz was 75%, which no big deal um, because she can learn from whatever mistake she made. And then um, the writing, we have been assigning the writing prompt every day. However, we have a lot of kids who aren't doing it. So we want to make sure you understand this is part of your job. And it's no big deal if you haven't. And you can certainly go back and look at the ones that you haven't done because you have time. Um, but this, just this part of reading should take you a good amount of time. If you are doing the number one strategy that readers do and rereading the article, um, and thinking deeply about it, it should take you about an hour to complete. And the teachers can see how long it's taking you. We get to see what you've done for your writing part. We can see what you've done for your quiz. But remember, in the end, this is for you to get better. Um, it's really not just a busy task. So don't rush through it. Take your time. I'm going to model how to actually do it and do it well. And I'm gonna use Kylie's. Um, so I know you've read this article, but I want to reread it with you. And then we're gonna look at the quiz questions and I'm gonna show you how to find the correct answer, how to go back and search for it in the article. So the title is The Holocaust Part One, The Rise of Adolf Hitler and World War II. I know I am reading this, because I need to learn more about World War II so I can better understand what Anne Marie and Ellen are going through in Number of the Stars. Um, Ellen and Anne Marie live in Denmark, and I can see that the Jewish community is beginning to be targeted in Denmark, which is Ellen, because if you're keeping up with Number of the Stars, Ellen is now in hiding with Anne Marie. So let's go down. Let's look at this the Holocaust part one, the rise of Adolf Hitler. I'm just going to read it. I'm going to look at the picture here. National Socialist German Workers Party members known as Nazis salute their leader, Adolf Hitler, who's right here. In 1934, years later, he became the sole leader of Germany. All right. I'm going to hear that name a lot. I'm going to hear Hitler. I'm going to hear Nazis. I'm going to hear it in my mentor text number the stars so i know i need to understand it so let's go down the first in a two-part series world war ii was the most deadly war in history it lasted from 1939 to 1945 millions of people were killed around the world thus the name world war in europe Jews faced another horror. Jews are people who followed the Jewish religion. Many became victims of the Holocaust. This was the murder of 6 million Jews by the Nazis. So I'm gonna just take a minute. The Holocaust is the murder of about 6 million Jews by the Nazis. That's what this word means. The Nazis ruled Germany from 1933 until the end of World War II. Other people were also called caught and killed by the Nazis. People with disabilities were another target. Jews were the Nazis' main victims, though. Adolf Hitler was the powerful leader of Germany and the Nazis. To him, 
Jews were a lower race of people, so he looked down upon them. He said Jews were a danger to Germany, and in 1333, he became Germany's leader. He began turning his hate into action. Hitler's rise to power. I love these subheadings because they guide me when I'm answering the questions. So this is his rise to power. Anti-Jewish feelings had a long history in Europe. Christians often saw their Jewish neighbors as outsiders. In some places, anti-Jewish feelings turned into hate. Anti means against. Why Hitler hated Jewish people so much is unclear. He served in the German army in World War I this war lasted from 1914 to 1918. Germany was defeated in the war. The lost left the country poor and weak. Hitler and people like him wanted someone to blame, and they blamed the Jews. After the war, Hitler joined a small political group. It became known as the Nazi Party. You're going to see the Nazi Party mentioned throughout the entire Number of the Stars. It grew in power under Hitler's leadership. Many Germans were upset about their troubles after World War I. Hitler used their anger. He convinced people to support the Nazis. He promised that if he was given power, he would fix all their problems. And in 1933, Hitler was given a top government post. A year later, he named himself Führer. This means supreme leader. The Nazis planned giant marches and meetings to show off Hitler's power. The Nazis attacked Jews. I like the subheading. Oh, I did too far. In 1933, the Nazis opened a prison camp in Germany. It was near a town called, I don't know how to say it, Dachau. Special police hunted down Hitler's enemies. These people were sent to Dachau and other camps. And in 1933, there were more than 500,000 Jews in Germany. The Nazis began bullying them. They forced Jewish workers to quit their jobs. They passed laws to take away their freedom. The bullying grew worse and worse. One night in 1938, Nazi gangs burned Jewish places of worship. They smashed the windows of Jewish-owned shops. It became known as the Kristallnachat. This means the night of the broken glass. Actually, I said it wrong. This means the night oh, of the broken glass. I said it right. Between 1933 and 1939, thousands of Jews fled Germany. Those who stayed lived in constant fear. So this is a lot to take in, and here's the ending. Um, but I would definitely just even understand what they're talking about with the Holocaust. I would definitely reread this before going straight into the quiz questions or the writing prompt. World War II begins in, 17, er, in September 1939. The German army invaded Poland. It marked the start of World War II. The Nazis rounded up Poland's Jews. They forced them into sections of town behind high walls and barbed wire. The Holocaust was about to begin. All right, so let's take a look. These are under activities, the activities tab. And again, you are to do the writing prompt, whatever it's asked. And normally, you guys, the writing prompt is going to ask you for the central idea or main idea. Um, and then some key details. All that means is you're summarizing. If you can figure out the main idea of the article, you're going to better understand it. Today's was a little different when you were asked to do this, and some of you may need to go back and still complete this. Um, but let's look at Kylie's here. So here's what the writing prompt, this is what it asks you to do, cause and effect. So we've learned about cause and effect under text structure. Cause and effect, what was the main event described in the article? Okay, what are they talking about? Probably the hate towards Jews in the begin, beginning of the Holocaust. Look, it's the, sometimes you guys, it's in like the last paragraph or last sentence or the beginning. Um, where it's just kind of restated. But the Holocaust is the effect of all this or hate towards Jews. 
So it says, what was the main event described in the article? What were the causes of this event? Describe each cause by citing specific details from the article and explaining how it contributed to the main event. So let, let's look at Kylie's response. First off, I can see she put a lot of thought and time into this. Um, I can not only tell by the written work done right here, but I can see how long she spent on it. So I'm very proud. This isn't going to be perfect, but she is giving it her all. And I wanted to show off what she did. So it says here in her, um, in her answer, this is what she typed. I love how she restated what the first job was up here. What was the main event? She said the main event of the article, the Hall Cup, Holocaust Part 1, the rise of Adolf Hitler in World War II, is when the Nazis were attacking the Jews. So really, it's the hate on Jews. Sort of like what I said when I was reading it. I was kind of talking to myself, talking through the central idea of this. This, in the end, is the effect. Um, and then, so as she clearly stated it, I love the wording. I love how she recited the title of the article. Beautiful way to begin. Um, and then right here, beginning of the sentence, I can see she's going to give me the, the causes of this, the causes of the hate. And she went back and she searched for specific details and she was precise on what she chose. So let's just read through it. The reason why the Nazis were attacking the Jews is because Hitler told the Nazis and Germans that the Jews were the ones to blame. This was, in fact, stated in the article. Because of the reason why the Germans lost World War I. Yep, in the article, it clearly stated that after World War I, Germany was left in ruins, very poor, and they wanted somebody to blame. So Adolf Hitler came in and targeted the Jews and, and others, but a lot of it was hate towards Jewish people. Um, beautiful work here. Everyone then turned on the Jews because Hitler was the Germans' leader. And, and when she says everyone, she means, because um, it wasn't everyone, she means that she could have even been more specific, um, the people of the Nazi party, which was a lot of people in Germany, but not all. Was given power, he would fix all their problems. Then the Nazis attacked the Jews and built a prison camp for the Jews in a town in Germany called De Chow, I'm not sure. After the Nazis started attacking Germany and they forced the Jews to quit their jobs, the Nazis passed laws so the Jews wouldn't have freedom. Excellent specific detail. Then one night the Nazi gangs burned Jewish shops and smashed their windows. This night became known as probably Kristallnachat. After that, thousands of Jews left Germany. Then the Nazis invaded Poland and captured the Jews and locked them down behind tall walls and barbed wire. This was the start of World War II. This was the start of the Holocaust or the hate on Jewish people. Excellent writing prompt, excellent writing response. Um, now the writing um, prompts again will be different, but take your time, find the evidence Prove it. This is where you get to develop your reading skills, my team. Even though this is nonfiction and we're in an historical fiction unit, um, the history of whatever book you're reading, even in your book club book, the history, the nonfiction part of it is going to be key to help you better understand um, historical fiction. So I just wanted to point out this. Um, I loved it. But let's let's now look at the questions. Because she missed one, no big deal. But but I want to show you how to really um, search for the answers so you get better and better each time. Because in the end, I want you to get 100% every time. So it says, which sentence from the section Hitler's rise to power best explains why Many Germans supported Hitler's rise to power. So I would need to, if I were doing an excellent job, I'd need to find that subheading. Here it is, Hitler's rise to power. And, and really focus on this section and answering the best possibility of which explains why Germans supported Hitler. So I'm going to look at A. It says, 
after the war, Hitler joined a small political group. So if I look back here and I'm thinking, which, which sentence helps, helps explain why Germans supported Hitler's rise? For, that doesn't support anything. That's just a fact. Let's look at B, which we can see is a correct answer. He promised that if he was given power, he would fix all their problems. Okay, that does explain why Germans supported. Let's just look though. Is it the best? C says in 1933, Hitler was given a top government post. That has nothing to do with um, the reason why people supported Hitler. That's just, he became powerful. It's not the why behind it. And the D, the Nazis planned giant marches and meetings to show off Hitler's power. Again, this is just an action they did once he was, but B definitely explains why people supported him. But let's look back. The loss of the, the loss of the country porn week, Hitler and people like him wanted someone to blame. Okay, that's a reason, but it doesn't say it over here. After the war, Hitler joined a small political group, became known as Nazi, grew in power. Many Germans were upset about their troubles after Hitler used their anger. He convinced people to support the Nazis. He promised that if he was given power, he would fix all their problems. It's right there. But do you notice how that took me a little bit of time? That's just number one. Um, just to go back, and I even knew the answer before doing it, but I wanted to prove. You can definitely get rid of some that didn't work. Like I could tell A right away was just a fact. It wasn't a reason. This was just a fact, wasn't a reason. Oh, C actually. So B just made sense. Okay, let's go to the next one. We know the correct answer was C. Based on the article, which of the following is true? So let's look through this. Before Hitler came to power, few Jew Jews lived in Germany. I know, especially after rereading it, I know it said, um, and you guys, let's find that part where it said how many people, there were so many Jewish people living. Um, these people, uh, special police. And I just, there were more than 500,000 Jews in Germany. So this is incorrect. A, I, pr I was just proving it right here. B, the Nazi party struggled to gain support and never said that. C, the Nazis forced many Jews to flee Germany by bullying them. Okay, that could be true. We know it's true. Hitler's anti-Jewish feelings were strange to many. Nope, never said that. So let's, I believe it's C, but I, I want to double check. I'm not just going to go off my gut feeling because I'm doing this to be the absolute best reader I can be. The Nazis forced many Jews to flee Germany by bullying them. I remember the word bullying. So I'm going to go back and find that part. Um, oh. I think it was in this section. Oh, right here. See the word bullying? I just kind of did a, a quick um, look through to see if I saw that word I was targeting. In 1930, there were more than 500 Jews. The Nazis began bullying them. So look, that right there, true. They forced Jewish workers. So C is in fact the correct answer. Now here's what I want you to see. The next one, no, not this one, this one. She, she missed, but what can she do about it? Well, she can look at what the correct answer was, what she chose and learn from it. Because next time in doing that, next time she will get stronger and better. So let's see, let's see what confused her here. What happened because of the Holocaust? So we're focused on the Holocaust. What happened because, so what was the result of the Holocaust? Holocaust, millions of Jews were killed. That's the correct answer, A. It wasn't the Nazi party was started. That's not, that the Nazi party um, caused the Holocaust to happen. So that's not what happened because of the Holocaust. Hitler gained power, that happened before the Holocaust. And then a deadly war began around the world. So that, I could see that making sense, actually, Kylie. Um, but if it's just focused on the Holocaust, the absolute best answer, if you're down to these two, 
when when they're talking about the Holocaust, it's millions of Jews. The Holocaust is the killing of the Jews. Um, and that, that was stated here in the article. And that's how you get better and better at this. So yes, you're going to miss some. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. Um, but today's goal, so when you move into today's assignment, New Zella assignment, we want to see two things. We want to see you taking your time, reading and then rereading the article and searching for the answers and proving it with evidence. And we want to see you completing the writing prompt. Whether you complete the writing prompt like my students do it right on New Zella, your teacher may have you do it on a Google Doc, but whatever your setup is with your teacher, um, that's what we, we want done. It's going to be writing and it's going to be the quiz questions. So take your time, be amazing. Let's see you get stronger and stronger. And remember, this isn't something to rush through. This is truly, truly the way you're gonna grow. So use it and show us you heard what we said today um, and know that we miss all of you. You can do it, be amazing um, and go shine. Have a great day, everyone.